Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be virtualizing Windows 10 ARM on an M1 Mac. But the main difference in this video is that we now have access to a virtualized GPU as the main display. So to actually get these drivers, you can get it from GitLab and you can compile it using Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. So I will put a link in the description for anyone interested. Now let's begin. So we have the firmware startup screen and now it's expected to boot into Windows 10 ARM. So that will only take a few seconds. Now we have the logon screen. And then we are finally in the desktop. So in this particular version of Windows 10, it is build 21277 for the ARM64 platform. The major difference with this version of Windows 10 ARM is that you can now emulate x64 apps so to do a quick test of the virtual GPU, I'll just open up the start menu. And it's actually almost totally smooth. So we can close that. And we're going to do a Cinebench test. Now Cinebench is actually an x64 application. So we'll just see how capable emulation really is for this. We are going to be running a single core test. So as you can see, the Cinebench single core test resulted in 495 points. Now, if we compare it to these processors, it actually lies around 486 for the Intel Xeon CPU X5650. Now, this is emulated X64, obviously. But if it was an ARM64 version of the app, the point for this single core test would have been much higher. I reckon. But honestly, overall, that's not bad. So the second thing that we're going to look at is how well a YouTube video actually performs on this virtual machine with the drivers. So we're just doing the Leopard intro. Now you can tell that there is actually a bit of lag, but I think for other types of videos, it would be more viewable in a sense. Because like I said, this is a virtual machine and it is a lot faster compared to without having the virtual GPU and just doing the basic Microsoft drivers. So now we have a second video over here. This is the Apple Drift screensaver. And it does feel like it is lagging a bit, but I think it's safe to say it's around 25 to 30 frames per second, which I think is pretty solid for a VM with virtualized GPU. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at some of the Office applications. Let's start with Word. So what we're going to do is we're just going to type in So we have this typed in over here. We can also just copy it a bit and we can also make it bold. So essentially, Word is good enough on Windows 10 ARM with this VM. Next up, we can just do a quick calculation on Excel. Five in this box, five in the other box, sum D6 times E6. And we get 10. So Excel is also great. Works like a charm. No sign of any lagging. And last but not least, we have PowerPoint. So we can open up a new PowerPoint. And we're going to use this template. We can type in this is a test. We can have a new slide. We'll have one more slide. Now what we can do is we can give these transitions. So we have a push up transition. We will also have a curtains. 
and we will also have a checkerboard. So if we put it into presentation mode, it will tell you that the graphics card may not be configured because there's no OpenGL with this virtual GPU, unfortunately, at this time. So you can press OK. Here was our first transition. Here's the second one. It is a bit laggy. And here is the third one, the checkerboard. So that was PowerPoint and the whole, almost all of the Microsoft Office applications in general. So now we will be opening up Adobe Lightroom and testing it out. This is actually the ARM64 native version, so we'll see how well it actually performs. Now we're just gonna do a quick cropping of it. And we're now gonna modify the exposure. And we'll also change the contrast. Set less highlights, more shadows, and make it a little more darker here. We can also change the temperature, so we're going to make it a bit cooler. We could also change the tint to reflect such a thing. We'll have it a bit more vibrant, and we'll leave the saturation like this. So Lightroom works like a charm. There's barely any lag if there's any at all. We could also change some of the texture. More clarity over here. Oh, if we dehaze it, this is how it looks. And we can also have it like this. We even have some grain. So yeah, that's Adobe Lightroom. So last but not least, we're going to look at Adobe Photoshop Beta. This is actually the ARM64 version of it as well. And we can create a new project. 900 by 900 pixels. Now, we're going to just put a black layer on it. And we're going to put in some text. This is a test. And we're going to have that done three times. So far it's not lagging at all, which is pretty good. And we're going to run a gradient over here. So this is our first gradient. Then we'll have our second gradient, which we will make this one a red type of gradient. This one would sound good. And then for the last test, we are going to make it with this gradient over here. Actually, no, this one. So Photoshop in this situation is actually pretty smooth as well. I expected it to be much slower, even with the virtual GPU. So that was Windows 10 ARM virtualized on the M1 Mac using a virtualized GPU. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.